You know, the older I get, the more I realize that everything is gonna circle back to my childhood trauma. And for me, that childhood trauma is a 9% mortgage. And I know it was a 9% mortgage because my parents probably thought about it a hundred thousand times. And my mom's famous line was always, I cannot believe you made a sign for a 9% mortgage. My parents were house poor. We could barely pay the utility bills. They barely could put food on the table. And ultimately those money struggles resulted in my parents' divorce. And the reason that my mom ended up having to work two jobs. And since I've spent a lot of time in therapy, I can tell you that that 9% mortgage taught me to have fears about being house poor and not understanding financial documents. It was uh, the, you know, the core value that if I have money problems, I could get a divorce or I never wanted my children to have that kind of instability. And so it has been a major motivator in why I work so hard and I've been able to achieve some of the success I've had. It's because I've really been very scared of what a 9% mortgage can do to you. For me, it became, I need to educate myself on terms, on documents, on things that I might not understand so that I'm never taking advantage of. That hyper-focus, I will tell you, has had a lot of really great benefits to my life, but it has really been at the foundation of why I've been able to survive my most recent trauma, which has been my divorce. So if you have been a subscriber of this channel for a long time, you have noticed that I have taken some time off and that is because I have been learning to survive with this. This is probably the most painful thing I've ever lived through. If you are new to me, um, hi, nice to meet you. I hope we're friends now. My name is Lizzie Hofer and I have worked in uh, residential mortgage finance for the last 20 years here in Arizona. And my content traditionally is about how to's of home ownership, market updates, and you know, just understanding the importance of basic budgeting. And so while all that information will still continue and I still think it's very valuable, I will tell you that going through this divorce has made me reflect on that 9% mortgage so much. And I just felt compelled kind of to change the content of this channel to show up for you more in terms of how to manage finances after a big transition and or before you have a transition. It's like, what does money have to look like so that you guys can be successful and really get down to the nitty gritty? Prior to this, I had just no understanding other than what I viewed at 10 years old from my parents. And I have just a completely different perspective and compassion for what my mom went through and also this insane amount of gratitude for that 9% mortgage and the hyper-focus that I had on money because I cannot imagine having gone through this emotional trauma and then having to add money problems on top of that. And what I have realized is that while I may not be a financial guru or a financial advisor, and please, for the love of God, do your own research on that stuff, I am somebody who came from humble beginnings, who learned about personal finance in their adulthood and has become a self-made millionaire. And so in addition to market videos and mortgage how-tos and you name it with real estate, I'm going to add a lot more real money talk in here because I hope that it starts your personal finance journey. It answers your personal finance questions. And ladies, if you're watching this video, we have to be having more of these conversations so that we can be a part of more money decisions. And so um, I hope that you welcome that content onto this channel, guys, and I appreciate your support. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. <laughs>